the Junkapult give us enough energy to launch out of here? Only one way to find out. All right, Toaster, time to get you back to Mrs. Coleslaw. Everybody ready? Ready! Smell you later, Junko. <laughs> Not gonna make it! Ah! Ah! Oh, peanuts! I guess we're gonna be stuck in this hole forever! Oh, there's gotta be some way out of here! Uh, we could, uh. uh, uh what, what, what if we, uh. Take a banana break? Yes! Ow. Okay, nothing's working. We just keep falling back onto that old springy mattress. Mrs. Coleslaw won't get her spring-loaded turbo toaster back, and we'll never play super springy pinball again. Wait a minute. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw's toaster has super springy springs inside. They can give us the energy to pinball our way out. We'll use the size of the junk hole like a real pinball machine. If we put ropes under those two plungers, we could use them like pinball flippers. And we can use the energy from the springs in the toaster for a launcher. But who are we gonna launch? According to my calculations, Clark, Chico, and I are all too heavy. We need someone smaller, so the energy of the spring is enough to launch them to the top. Yeah, Tiny, you can be our pinball. But you might need a little more spring in your step to bounce out of here. We're gonna make you your very own super bouncy spring ball suit. Ready to launch? Okay, Tiny, it's pinball time. Clark, load it up. Three, two, one. Super spring launcher, go! Springsuit is running out of energy! Quick, Clark! Boot me! Uh, okay! No! No, Clark! Boot me! Oh, <laughs> here you go. Uh, yeah. Way to go! Yeah. Uh -oh. Yay for Tiny! Well, folks, looks like there's a new pint-sized pinball wizard in town. And her name is Tiny. Nice work, team. Yeah! Clark, give me something slippy. Soap suds. Too bubbly. Floor wax. Too squeaky. A banana peel. Perfect. Banana peel dancing shoes. Extra slippy, coming right up. But Chico, I also need to run all the way up the wall. <laughs> ah, in that case, you need shoes with more friction. More friction means it's harder for them to slide. So they'll be grippy. And I've got just the material. A spare tire from Two Force One. The treads are high friction, which make them extra grippy. Perfect! Rubber tire dancing shoes. Extra grippy. But then they won't be slippy. That's right. They'll be grippy. But I need shoes that are slippy and grippy. This dance is called the Slippy Grippy Shuffle. Slippy and grippy? But how can you... They're, they're both grippy. Better take a banana break. Ow. Okay, if the shoes are too slippy, they won't be grippy. But if they're too grippy, they won't be slippy. And then Mrs. Coleslaw won't get to dance for Flippy. <gasps> flippy! He can go from grippy to slippy with one simple Flippy! Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw, your shoes need to be slippy, grippy, and flippy! Yay! Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> slippy, grippy dancing shoes. They flip from low friction banana peels to high friction tires. Oh dear, sounds very complicated. Try them, Mrs. Coleslaw, it's a snap. Just snap your fingers to flip from slippy to grippy. 
They are slippy. And now they're grippy. <laughs> Chico, they're perfect. With these new shoes on your feet, I'm sure you'll win tomorrow. Flippy's gonna flip. There's just one more thing I need. A dancing partner. Uh, what about you, Chico? Mrs. Coleslaw, I don't know how to do the slippy, grippy shuffle. Oh, you'll do just fine. See you at the Blender Dome tomorrow. Better build another pair of shoes. Okay, how about a Blunder Bloom tree? <laughs> don't worry, we've still got plenty more seeds to try. Let's get planting. Your beak on the street is now your eye in the sky, where I'm checking out the damage being done by those blunder beetles. And folks, it is not a pretty sight. The beetles are sweeping across the city, eating every tree in their path. It's only a matter of time before they eat Blunderberg's most famous tree, Bon Bon Labs. Can the legendary Fix-It Force save their own treehouse headquarters? I'm told they are working on a plan right now, but time is not on their side. Well, we planted a whole bunch of different tree seeds. Pow, pow, meow. But the beetles ate pretty much every tree. Wait a minute. The beetles aren't eating the whole trees. They're leaving leftovers. I wonder why. Well, they left behind the purple bark of the blunder bark tree. And the pointy leaves of the blunder thistle trees. Pointy leaves, purple bark. You must not like the way those parts taste. Clark, what tree has both of those things? Checking. Aha! The blunderberry tree. Let's give it a try. the taste of blunderberry trees. If we plant a wall of blunderberry trees, it'll stop the beetles before they get to Bon Bon Labs. And if we plant a lot of different trees that the beetles don't like, we can make sure all the trees stay beetle-free and healthy in the future. Perfect. As long as there's enough trees the beetles don't like, they'll stop and leave town. But Chico, we'd have to plant lots and lots of trees to do that. Okay, lots and lots of trees. But how? Well, we just need to, uh, oh, maybe, maybe we can, uh... Take a banana break? Yeah, I could really use a banana right about now. Ow. Okay, we use agricultural engineering to find the exact trees that the beetles won't eat. But there's no way to plant enough of them to stop the beetles before they gobble up Bon Bon Labs. Ah, the lab. We have had some really good times there. Like this morning, playing sprinkle ball. Sprinkles flying everywhere. <gasps> Amazing bananas, that's it! Who wants to play sprinkle ball? Um, I don't think now is the right time for that. No, it's the exact right time. Sprinkle ball is going to save us all. Thanks for the free lunch, Chico. Oh, you're welcome. You're also helping us dispose of all those popsicle sticks. Oh, yeah. We're never going to get tired of eating these. Oh, so tired of eating these. Chico, beaver tummies can only hold so much wood. And they've hardly even made a dent in the supply. At this rate, it'll take them... Oh, about 232 years to eat all the sticks. I'm pretty good at waiting, but I don't think I can wait 232 years. Yeah, repurposing them wasn't a bad idea. We just need a better way to do it. Like what? Uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. Oh, it's still hot. Uh, I think it's time for a banana bread. Uh, banana bread. Uh. How about a banana flavored silly chili pop break? Good idea. Okay, there were too many sticks to recycle and too many to feed to the Dunderheads. These sticks are causing so many problems and we still haven't taken care of all the other problems around town. 
Hermit Crab Herb still needs a fence to keep off tumbleweeds, Squirrelbeard Ship still has a bunch of holes in it, and Conductor Clyde still needs more train tracks. Somehow we have to fix all these problems and find a way to repurpose all the used popsicle sticks. <gasps> Blazing bananas, that's it! We can repurpose the sticks by using them to solve problems around town. How, how, me, wow! That'd be a greener solution, too. Greener? But the sticks are kind of woody colored. <laughs> no, greener means better for the environment. Come on, Fix It Force. Time to put these silly chili pop sticks to greener use. Hermit Crab Herb needs a fence to keep those tumbleweeds away. How about a popsicle stick fence? Oh, I dig it! That's some awfully fine fencing. Captain Squirrelbeard Ship has a few holes. Popsicle sticks can patch them right up. Arr, tis a rip roaring repair, mateys. Dr. Clyde needs more train tracks. Popsicle sticks should do the trick. All aboard the cool train! <laughs> Thank you, Chico. You and the Fix-It Force have saved Blunderbird from a sticky situation. Don't mention it. We just used our creativity. To repurpose. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them.